All right, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. We've got Jalen Turner added to EA Sports UFC 5 with the neck. Woo, look at how tall that man is. Six foot three in a lightweight division. Grub Daddy. I fought this guy before. <laughs> I fought him before. He is quite aggressive, which is okay. Jalen Turner, man, he, he, he is one of those guys that I will definitely describe as having that dog in him. If you look at the way this man fights in real life, he is quite aggressive. And one thing about his fight style that I find to be very fascinating is like how how much he doesn't back up. The hell is that? Like Jalen, man, like even when strikes are being thrown at him, he just stands there like a freaking statue. He loves his elbows. He throws them a lot. Knees as well. He throws a lot of knees. Especially like intercepting knees, like the Donald Cerrone style knees or Alistair Overeem style knees, where he bangs you with a knee to the body as you're entering the pocket, which makes sense. Tall guys do that very, very well. Boom! As you're entering the pocket, boom! Kick the smash you into the solar plexus with that knee. John Jones does that very well as well. So we're gonna be looking for that. Looking for the elbows, looking for the knees, uh, looking for his hooks. He also does a very good job of fighting from both stances. And do not get rocked and sat down in front of this guy because he's going to snatch up a guillotine faster than you can say tarantula. Boom, boom. There we go. Back up. Sit down, boy. Front kick. He throws a lot of front kicks as well. Works the body very well. And he does utilize clinch punches if he can get you in there. Just he's a very technical, very well-rounded striker on the feet, man. And the man's got power. Make no mistake. Saw so what he did to Bobby Green. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I like this addition, bro. I like this guy. He's, he feels good right off the bat. Only thing though is that players will definitely want to stay to, like stay right under you if they're fighting you and you're using Jalen Turner. So you're going to be dealing with a lot of players who will be, you know, more aggressive because they're trying to enter that pocket. He's got to be able to deal with that. There we go. This is where you use your elbows if they're forcing themselves to stay super close range. That's where you start looking for some elbow intercepts, look for some knees to the body. And, uh, you know, this is really the way the elbows and knees were really intended to be used. Less as a aggressive weapon. Got him. Sit him down. And more as a defensive weapon. Or as a counter as someone's entering the pocket and forcing themselves to stay super close to you. So, that was a good first round. Let's do it again. <laughs> I think his character model looks amazing, man. It looks just like him. Looks just like him. Maybe he should be a tad, just a tad bit darker. Just a tad. But besides that, I think they nailed the guy. You know, I wonder what game developers can do to remove this... This plastic feel of character models. I'm talking even the latest GTA, like from the from the trailer that I was watching. Like a lot of those character models, as good as they as good as they were, like as beautiful as those models, there's still this get out of here with that. Alright, hold on. This dude is he's starting to bobble head a little bit. Yeah, he's been doing that all fight though, but let's try not to get caught with that. Head kick. Yeah, man, like I was re-watching re that GTA trailer again. And I'm like, man, they look absolutely stunning. Some of the best graphics. No. Get out of here with that. No. I am on point. Trust me. I am on point today. Some of the best graphics I've seen in video game. But still. Sit him down. You look at those models. And, you're like, man, the skin. There's a plastic feel to it. I don't know if there's, it's like a dry plastic feel to it. Like like silicone. I don't know. Like I, 
it's just just not quite human. Not a, not elastic enough. Doesn't feel elastic. Um, feels too rubbery. You know what I mean? Sitting down. Same with these character models, man. You just, you're, you're looking at them. They look good, but at the same time, it's just like, man, it doesn't just doesn't quite feel like there's like that is natural human elastic um, skin that gets moved easily. You know, it just seems too tight. Everything, the skin just seems ridiculously tight. Like every single character went to the doctor and got like. That surgery, that, that face lift and body lift surgery where they tighten every single thing and there's no loose nest to the skin whatsoever. You know what I mean? Um, I know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, you can see what I'm talking about if you look at them. I'd like to see uh, a video game. And I, actually, if you guys have a video game that you think did it properly to where the skin genuinely looks like human skin and it doesn't have that elastic look actually show me i'm curious thq was very bad with that like their wrestling games the ufc games it's just everything just plastic looking ea mma i'll say kind of almost got close to nailing human skin sitting down again ea mma which is Kind of crazy. I remember the first time I saw EMMA. That was the first thing I thought. I was like, man, skin ain't looking too bad. Sit down, boy. Goodbye. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna find that. I got that dog in me song for Jalen, man. No respect. Thanks. Oh, my bad. Was he being... Man, I got trust issues. <laughs> I got trust issues. I'm just... I usually assume the worst of players, man. That no, and then... Res man, that was a little bit... You know what, man? If you were being respectful, brother, my apologies. My apologies if you were just being respectful, okay? I have trust issues, all right? Let's move on. Let's go. Thank you. Daddy's home. Man, just for saying that, I'm going to kick you in the body over and over again. What do you mean, daddy's home? Daddy, how dare you? How dare you? Making me feel... Making me feel, uh... Making me feel a little bit, uh... You know. Eh. How's on my PC? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Back up. Imagine losing to a guy whose name is Daddy's Home, bro. Imagine that shit. That pissed me off. So, we're not going to spend too much time using him. You know, this first, this first time that we introduce him, we're just gonna just get in the right, a nice feel, and I'm gonna tell you guys, but he feels good. He really does. Um, I'm not just saying that. Like, I'm gonna be using this character quite a bit. You better watch. You better watch this block counter, bro. Better watch it. Um, you guys, hold on. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Throw that hook again. Throw it again. Now you cut. Oh, 
Oh! I still don't know how I feel about the patch. I mean, I'm noticing a slight difference with the stamina. Rock, just a slight difference to the body. Better stop leaning back like that. We're like, oh. <laughs> he did it again. He literally did it again. I'm like, man, kick you in the body while you're leaning. What do you think is gonna happen? That's gonna happen. You get you get slumped. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the patch at the moment. I'm noticing some differences when it comes to stamina. Um, some of you were complaining in the video that I uploaded yesterday that, you know, this is going to make this game boring. All the stamina changes. Hey, look. Take it up with your peers, bro. You know. Um, <laughs> take it up with your peers. That is what everybody wants. Everybody wants more stamina attacks. So, hey. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I'm suspecting that players are going to be asking for more after this particular patch because you know and so expect more to come all right that'll do it though thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like on it and uh i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out boys have a good one